What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a simple perch pattern. The blank that we're going to be using today is a two and a half inch sunfish swim bait blank. It's got five different joints on it and on the one I'm painting I've got little rubber bands in there protecting the banner or fabric like material that makes up the joints. I have another video on that showing exactly how I do it. If you guys are interested I'll have that linked in the description below. Something else I'm very excited about is we'll be doing a little bit of splatter paint on this bait today. It's my favorite. I have not done it in a while. To kick things off, we're going to be starting off with a base coat of opaque white. The bait is already an opaque white-ish color. It's more of a bone color than it is white. And the colors we're putting on top of it, I want them to be very vibrant. Therefore, we're gonna do a base coat of white. base coat of white is on. The next color we're going to be doing is an iridescent yellow. And we're going to be giving the whole entire bait. We're gonna cover everything, head to toe in the iridescent yellow. And now with the iridescent yellow on, we're going to move on to our belly color. It's going to be a pearlized tangerine. We're going to be keeping that color up here on the front of the bait. So we'll start at the mouth, work our way down to this first eyelet. We'll leave this section of the belly yellow and we'll add a little bit of more of that orange back here and onto the tail fin a little bit. I think that should look nice. I'm also gonna carry it up the gill plate just a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy with it, but that is the plan. Orange is on, next thing we're going to be doing is taking some of this olive green deep. It's an ink and you gotta make sure that these are airbrushable. And it is, and we're going to be taking that green and we're going to be spraying the top half of the bait, kind of coming down. We wanna do it real light. I don't want to turn it solid green so you still kind of want that yellow to show through. But we're gonna take it from green up top and fade it into that yellow on the side. Next up, we're also going to take a little bit of that same green, and I'm almost out of it because the little eyedropper that comes in there can't reach it. Don't worry, I've got another one. We're gonna take some of this green and we're gonna water it down a hair. And this, my friends, is what we'll be splattering. Hopefully we don't make too big of a mess, but I'm gonna water it down some, give it a nice little stir, and make sure before you go splattering, you always test it. Okay, I think we're golden. I think I want really, really fine splatters on there. I don't want huge ones because it's such a small bait. So I'm gonna take what's still in the brush here and just give it a couple little speckles all over. Does that not just look great? If you haven't splattered, you should. And the reason for watering down is it's gonna make it a little bit more transparent. I didn't want really sharp, harsh, dark, lines on there. I just wanted some that whenever it dries a little bit, it's not quite as noticeable. So that was the reasoning for watering it down. And I probably didn't need to water it down that much, but that's okay. I need to paint bigger baits because I want to do more splatter, but uh, I think we got this one right where it needs to be. I'm going to hit it with the hairdryer and we'll move on to our next color. Our next color that we're using is going to be applied in similar method. We're not going to be splattering it, but we're going to be doing a very light dusting on it. We're going to be using the pearlized copper and doing a really, really light coat, just kind of up towards the top a little bit. That way when the light hits it, uh, we get a little bit of that reflecting back. So I'm not trying to turn anything gold. I just want there to be a fine dusting on it. And to help with that, we're going to hold the airbrush a little bit further away. And then I'm going to basically be aiming off to the side of the bait here. The bait's so small that a little bit of paint goes a long ways, and I just want it to stay up towards the top. I'm also going to hit it up here, kind of by the eye. 
This is one of those I gotta stop while I'm ahead, or we will end up with a gold bait. But there, you can kinda see it's green, but reflects a little bit of gold, exactly what we're looking for. Layering paint, I think is what people call that. In the finishes pattern, we're going to be taking a hair comb to add some black stripes. Now I've taped off every other bristle or whatever you want to call that. I don't want real fine ones because we'll end up with a pretty dark bait for how small it is. Gives it a little bit more space in between the lines. That way we don't cover up all the pretty work that we just did. So I'm going to load up some transparent black in the airbrush and we're going to hold our comb up. Now we got some nice juicy lines on there. And with the black still loaded in the airbrush, we will, like always, darken up the back. I'm not gonna go solid black, I'm just gonna go enough that those stripes on the side will kind of fade into it. Then we're going to do the same thing right around the eye. I cannot wait to see the clear coat on this one. Last thing to do on this bait, is add some eyes on. And we've got these really bright, obnoxiously bright orange ones. I think it'll go good with our pattern. A little dab of glue. And there we have it. Nice, easy to do perch pattern on a five jointed swim bait. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. If you have any requests, make sure to comment those below. I'm gonna get some clear coat put on this and we will come back and take a look at what she looks like all finished up.